like yeah, that. Definitely. I, I could dig that. Yeah. Oh, we have some Kings conversation, as I said, on the uh, chat here in the in the chat. Oh, um, let's see here. People buying tickets and talking about buying the, the statement jerseys. Uh, Jay, what are your thoughts on the brand new courts that we saw today? Apparently leaked NBA 2K. It would be the court that the Kings are going to have for the in-season tournament games. Sounds like, from what I've seen, looks like people, Kings fans, are embracing them more than they embrace the jerseys that we saw this week. Yeah, I, I think it's because it's a little more There's familiar. There. Yeah, it's a little more familiar. You, the, the floor is pretty much all gray. You know, uh, you see the purple on the sidelines. Right, purple and black. Yep, yeah. all around. Mm-hmm. And then the other part about it, too, uh, is detail. There's some detail to it. I don't know. Yeah, it's like herringbone or patterns. I don't yes. even know what you call that. Yes. Yes. Well, why not infuse that into the – don't get me started today, Whitey. Come on, man. <laughs> why not infuse that type of design into the jersey? Yeah, into the city edition jersey. The city edition. Yeah. Yeah, we we, every, we, there, we don't need to talk about the classic. The that everyone loves. Yes. Yeah. The classic jerseys. And I was talking uh, – had an opportunity to talk to um, someone that was – and, you know, I did not know this. I had no clue. I had an open invitation to go to the commercial shoot with Doug Christie, Mike Bibby, Jackie Christie. What? The Christ- yeah, I had an open invitation. I had, you didn't know it? I did not know it because I did not return the phone call. Oh. Uh, and. So you would have been uh, in it. Yeah. Well, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I might have made a little cameo like Jackie Christie did. But um, yeah, they're like, dude, you should have came. What happened? Said, oh, my bad. I, I called them the next day and it was yeah. a little too late. Man, I was calling, but I heard the festivities where it was shot was fantastic. It was just a ball, you know, Doug and Mike, fantastic. Jackie Christie being fantastic. You could tell they were having fun. Oh, yeah, they loved it. Yeah. And it was an all day affair. Uh, artists from t- like 10 in the morning to 6 p.m. You know, so it was something that they really enjoyed, uh, meaning Mike, Doug, and they really want to be a part of it. There were, you know, there's some B-roll rolling around from my understanding, talking to this person who has some some B-roll. Um, there are some things that, you know, like you, you see the press conference that was in the garage compared to they were going to do it in another place. I heard that was kind of you know, uh, there's some B-roll that's pretty funny with that. Um, so I, I've heard great, nothing but great things about the uh, the throwback yeah. jersey, you know, drop October 1st. Which, the only commercial I've ever seen in which it looked like people were having more fun mm. than Christian Bibby was the, uh, the Northwest commercial with Dembski and Morgan Reagan. They were having a blast. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> I seen that one. Yeah, oh, they were that. having, it was party time there. Northwest what? what? what what's Simply the Simply the best trust Northwest. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I think it was for Windows. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. aren't you on one? A commercial? Northwest. Well, they got their set. They've legendary, got, baby. They've got spokespeople. Nah, you're legendary. Uh, coming out the chimney. In these streets, man. Yeah. No, so they're my, set. Somebody from Vallejo right now. <laughs> 916-339-1140. Legend hmm. right here. Yeah. I, I was just having a little fun with my friends on that <laughs> one, but they're, they're, they're set. All right, so we like the court, right? We like the new court. Yeah, I like it. How yeah. about yourself? Uh, yeah, I I appreciated that because the one last year I don't think had purple in it. I remember noticing where's the purple? It's it was, all in Utah. So yeah, I think blue, they've right? listened to fans. Yeah, yeah. as they should. And, and I, also, yeah, no, another thing. Please. Pardon me. Last year, all of the courts for the in season tournament, they all had that stupid runway or whatever you call it from one <laughs> lane, you know, and it would go all the way through the lane. Lane, of course, is painted. That's why they call it the bank. Then we go all the way across the middle of the court, remember? And they would connect. Yes. And that was supposed to be like the runway to Vegas. A bridge or something. Or something. Like, yeah. What? They got rid of those. Thank you. Because they were stupid. A bridge. Well, you know, I was out on the end season tournament from the jump anyway. So that I had to steadfast when it came to the jerseys, when it came to the court, when it came to the whole kid and caboodle. Right. You know, this one, though, I really enjoy the colors, I, I you know, the gray, the dark gray infused. So if, if you really look at the court, it, it looks all gray. And if you look at, you know, if, if you've had an opportunity to see and I'll just use Oregon, University of Oregon's um, basketball, most of it's all green. Right. It looks like a trees, so mm-hmm, to say. Mm-hmm. This looks all gray, but you have different shades of gray. Then you have two, a big circle around half court and a smaller circle. 
that uh, surrounds that as well. You still have that trophy prominently displayed yeah, on in the all key. the courts, yeah. on all the courts for this tournament. Well, it, it's it's presented to you by Emirates, right? It's an Emirates. That's right. Yeah. So you know, they're, the bling, the flash, the gold, the trophy. What, is there a name to that trophy? I was trying to think of it real quick. Um, they place a name I think to that it's trophy. The NBA Cup. Yeah, but. but I, but how we like the Lombardi trophy. Is yeah, there a name to it? I think that's it. I understand what you're asking. Yeah. I would think they really? would really I would assume they'd eventually call it like the they name it after the sponsor. I felt like there was a name to it already, you know, mm -hmm. like a Kareem Abdul Jabbar cup or Kobe Bryant trophy or something like that. Uh that I don't know. I I if that's the case, I missed it and I'd be interested to know that. Yeah. Who would uh, you name it after? Hmm. Maybe Jerry West now. Hmm. But he's already got the clutch, clutch award. Yeah. Him. Well, give that up and make the trophy. Mm -hmm. Um, name of the it's the NBA Cup. So they don't have it. It's not named after anyone. Not according to the latest information available to me. Okay. Uh, it's a great point, though. I was assuming they name it after a sponsor. Like I thought when we first were talking about this thing that it would be the Amazon Cup or something mm. or the Emirates Cup. But now, Emirates Cup. Yeah. Maybe they uh maybe they end up naming it after a player. Depends yeah, can how they that. can make the most money. Well, that's true, which probably means sell it to a corporation, a sponsorship, an advertising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where the most money is. It, unless you have, you know, some type of foundational P call it Kobe and the Nike sponsors it or you know, yeah. something like that. Kobe Cup. Sure. The Kobe Cup. People here wouldn't like that. I think we can deal with it. I'm not a big Kobe guy, but I think we can deal with it. Uh, when we come back, as promised, look at some of the quarterback notes around the NFL. Some interesting quarterback news today. We have it for you next on Sacktown Sports. Win is